rapid sequence intubation might be killing your patient. Let's talk about why we need to slow down and not go as fast. I've seen it hundreds of times. A patient is tanking, you know they need a tube, and the pressure is on to get that airway secured right now. So you grab the blade and you pop it in and their sats drop to like 60%. Why? Well, the truth is, it's not about how fast you can put that tube in. It's about the oxygen that's on board before you even pick up the blade. We're not just trying to push oxygen into the lungs. We need to replace the air that's already there with 100% pure oxygen. The problem is that in the lungs, a high percentage of the air that's actually in there is nitrogen. It's not oxygen. And it's taking up the valuable space where oxygen could be. By giving them a few minutes of high flow oxygen, like with a nasal cannula at 15 liters, you're performing what's called a nitrogen wash. You're replacing the nitrogen in their lungs with 100% oxygen. It's a very simple step, but it gives you such a crucial buffer and it's gonna give you time. Having that reserve tank of oxygen prevents those dangerous desaturations. I'm not talking about a minute or two. I'm talking about it's gonna give you minutes worth of time during intubation. So the next time you're about to intubate, remember this. Don't just focus on the speed of the tube going in. Focus on the oxygen on board and the nitrogen wash. Slow down and make sure you have a safe airway because in this game, safety always wins over speed.